Let me just start off by saying I usually don't do gun reviews on YouTube, but I thought this was a pretty slick pistol. So I thought I'd go over a few things about it and what I did to what I think is improved it, improvements on it. It's the uh, GSG 1911-22 long rifle. It's got a fairly good weight to it. It feels very close to my single stack. Um, even though it has an aluminum slide and aluminum frame, the um, all the controls seem to be pretty much exactly the same as the full size 1911. It's got a few extra safety features on it which I don't really care for so I went ahead and defeated them. But it does have the Series 80 um, concept of the 1911. Uh, so far I left all that stuff in there because I just didn't want to mess with it. It looks a little bit more complex when you start taking the slide apart. So. Uh, the grip safety, I defeated it. It's got a different, I used, I like the little bump on the back. This one doesn't have it. And I got a fairly high grip and I just couldn't seem to depress it all the time. So I defeated the, the grip safety on it. And the curved mainspring housing, I switched that out with a, with a flat one. And uh, the parts seem to be interchangeable with standard 1911 stuff. So I'm, I'm sure with a little bit more tinkering, you could probably, or I could probably, switch out this grip safety here. The hammer, the spur, all the internal components, the sear, the disconnector, they all look to be 1911 compatible. I went to put a fiber optic front side on the front here. And uh, the dovetail cut seems to be a different size. I think it might be specific to this particular pistol. So if I want to ever do a fiber optic front sight on it, I guess I'll have to send it off and have it milled. It does come with a three dot system. They're plastic. The plastic front sight and plastic rear sight. And the uh, it has ambidextrous safeties. I did, really didn't care for the ambidextrous safeties that much. They're kind of sharp. And I have a fairly high grip on the gun. And it tends to jam into my finger right there. So I'm going to grind off on those and uh, re to fit my hand, basically. The trigger looks like a... I think you can swap it out with a, with a 1911 trigger. So if you don't like the looks of this, you could probably swap it out. The barrel is fixed barrel. It doesn't uh, rotate like a standard 1911. And they've got three points of contact here for this thing. It uh, When you take it apart, it's kind of weird. It's almost like the the slide lock works as a slide lock, but it also doesn't really work as a takedown pin because there's another pin that you have to remove, and then there's a, yet another pin where you actually have to unscrew. But for the most part, it seems fairly straightforward as far as 1911s go. It does have, and it has been safety checked, everybody seems to talk about that, but it has a disconnector for the magazine, so you cannot shoot it with a magazine not in the gun. It has to have a magazine in it. And uh, that thing to defeat is fairly easy. It's in, in the uh, mainspring housing here. In fact, you can't even depress the, uh, the grip safety. But once you do insert the magazine, you can't, every, the grip safety works and the trigger will fall, or the hammer will fall. I don't want to dry fire this thing since it is a 22. But anyways, barrel bushing, I believe you can swap that out yourself. Disassembly, Aside from these two pins up here next to the slide re uh, slide release, it's fairly the same as a 1911. Anyways, so I modified mine. That was a loner, by the way. So I've taken my safeties and I ground them down. So now they're a little bit more rounder, a little bit flatter, a little bit skinnier. I get a better grip on the gun. It doesn't bite into my finger when I'm shooting. I particularly don't like the black the three dot system so I blacked out the rear with model glue or model paint rather and I switched out the curved mainspring housing with a flat one I get a better grip with it it's just I think it's personal preference but it works for me the grip safety has been defeated so now you can dry fire it you can shoot it without depressing the grip safety the trigger pull on these things is about five and a half pounds not too awful bad I guess you could probably increase or decrease it a little bit by maybe changing out the spring and the main spring housing. You could probably better the trigger pull with maybe a little crisper by switching out the uh, the sear and hammer with a match set or something. But it 
it seems to be working okay with me for the 22. And besides, it is just a 22. The only thing I not too particular, not liking about it too much is the safety. My full size 1911 doesn't do this, but it's got a little bit of wiggle right there. And when it's cocked, you can it still fiddles around like that. My 1911 and all the others that I've seen don't have that wiggle, and both these guns do that. This is the one that, you know, like I said, I've ground on and chewed on and stuff like that. So, but none of my fiddling around with this has modified that or made that do that. The other one does the exact same thing. But uh, I took I took it apart, stripped it down, put some flits polishing compound on the rails, and I highly recommend this with any new 1911. Of course, you know, <laughs> you're taking a risk when you start chewing on your guns. Uh, you put a little flits on the rails right there and you run the, the, the slide against the frame. Just watch the little TV doing that while you're doing that. And it's, it's like butter now. I mean, this thing is smooth. And I've only shot maybe 50, 60 rounds of this. No issues whatsoever. Maybe five different types of ammo. They run about $300. I got this one on Gunbroker for less than $300 delivered, which I thought was a decent deal. It was a blemished, as they, the, the seller described it. There's a little bit of wear around here on the slide, but that doesn't bug me at all. I'm going to put some holster wear on this when I start using it. But uh, initial thoughts? I like it. It's not too bad. If you're looking for a uh, 22 conversion kit for your 1911, this might be a way to go. Magazines are about 30 extra dollars if you decide to get some extras. But uh, I like the idea of having another gun as opposed to switching out your uh, a 22 conversion kit. Anyways, feel free to write any questions. I'll try to answer them when I can. Thanks.